Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at basic iPad security. So with the iPad being an extremely mobile device, you should be worried about what happens if you lose it or if it gets stolen. So there are three simple steps you should take. First, you should set a password on your iPad. Second, you should enable Find My iPad. And third, you should put something on your lock screen that will help somebody return a lost iPad to you. So to set a passcode for your iPad you want to go into Settings and then in there select General and look for Passcode Lock. When you go to the Passcode Lock screen turn it on by tapping the top button there and you'd be asked to set a passcode. So I'll just do something simple. You'd be asked to re-enter it again. It's very important that you remember this passcode as you'll need it to access your iPad in the future or even turn off passcode. So you can hit the second button for changing the passcode. You can set when you want it to be required uh, immediately or after a delay when starting to use your iPad. You should keep it at immediately. You can also turn off simple passcode. When you do that you have the ability instead of using just numbers you can use letters and enter in a better passcode that's a little harder to guess. You can also turn on erase data at the bottom there and what will happen then is if there's 10 failed attempts to enter a passcode everything on the iPad gets erased. So this is pretty extreme but it's very useful if you've got sensitive data on your iPad especially if you have everything backed up anyway on your computer and you can easily restore your iPad if you do find it later. And back under general settings you want to look at the auto lock setting and set it for the lowest amount of time that makes sense for you. Don't set it to never because that means it won't lock and won't require the passcode. Now setting up Find My iPad is pretty easy. If you already have a mobile me account all you need to do is go into settings and then mail and then make sure you've turned on Find My iPad for your mobile me account. And once you do that you can log into me.com on any computer once you're in your account you can use Find My iPad and you'll be able to locate it if it's turned on. Now even if you don't have a mobile me account you can still do this. You can use your iTunes account the same one you used to buy apps with and such and you can basically activate a mail account using that and you won't have the mail functions. All you'll have is Find My iPad. Just turn that on in the settings and you can still log into me.com and access Find My iPad to locate your iPad on a map. So suppose your iPad is lost and somebody wants to return it to you. Well you want to make sure they can find out who you are and get in touch with you. One way to do that of course is put a sticker somewhere on the outside of the iPad. But you can also put a graphic on the lock screen of the iPad. And anybody that gets it even if they don't have the password can see the lock screen and see say a phone number or email address on there. Now you can create a graphic to use as your wallpaper just about any way you want. If you use a graphics program on your computer you can create one and then sync it to your iPad. You can use any graphics creation program that you want on the iPad to make one. You can even take just a, a screenshot of something in Keynote or another program and then use that screenshot as your lock screen. There's also some programs that are specifically made for this kind of thing. So I like to use this Stickies app here. Uh, you can choose a background basically just creating a graphic image here and I can add a note to it. I've already put a note on the screen here. I can edit that note and do different things with it. Move it around where I want. Then I can preview what it looks like as a lock screen so I can see where it falls according to the time at the top and the, the bar at the bottom. And if I'm happy with it I can export it to the camera roll. And now that I've done that I can go into settings and go into wallpaper and change the wallpaper here. Go to the camera roll and select that image right there. And I can say set it to the lock screen. And now my lock screen will be that image. And you can see that's what it looks like now when somebody gets my iPad and tries to use it before they enter the passcode. So there are three basic steps that you can take to better secure your iPad. Of course these all work for the most recent version of the iPod Touch and iPhone as well. 
Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.